I'm Josh. I'm working on my PhD in Islamic studies. My areas of interest are Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia. I'm Charlie. I've danced also with cocaine bandits in Colombia, surfed across the border into Mexico, and have a master's in applied linguistics. I'm Nate. I grew up in Bolivia. My specialty is radical Shia politics. I've edited a book on Hezbollah, and I've had tea with some of the wealthiest men in the Middle East. We surf, dodge bullets, and we go to the ends of the earth for the sake of adventure. You can call us Black Fox. Black Box temporarily split out. Josh and I are cruising across the Bacaw trying to take tapes to Damascus. Meanwhile, Nate is back home. I stayed in Beirut to get as much more coverage of the war as possible. And upon getting back into the city, learned that Hezbollah gave one of its strongest warnings to Israel that if Beirut was hit again, Hezbollah would retaliate with Katusha rockets all the way to Jerusalem. And it was within five hours later that night, nine o'clock, that bombs started to fall over the southern suburbs of Beirut. I grabbed my cameraman and we set out to film the bombs and get as close as possible. So it's the second night of explosions here in the southern suburbs of uh, Beirut. Just heard two loud bombs go off, headed south to see uh, they hit again. The jets are flying over uh, right after the bombs, so uh, airstrikes. Wow, right behind us, another missile. Yeah. So as we uh, drove, a flashing bomb flew over the car and hit a building a block and a half away from where we were driving. It sent our hearts racing, but we turned around on the next highest vantage point to film where the bomb had hit. You can hear the planes, the F-16s roaring overhead. See the smoke coming up? Catch it. There you go. It was right there. We were a block away. We stopped right next to the Kuwaiti embassy, and as we were filming, our behavior was picked up as suspicious by the security, uh, by the embassy security. Take my last pack of Syria, so it's where it was stopped. Oh. Okay. No, no, sweetheart. No problem, no problem. And we were told to turn off our camera. At that point, immediately walked over to hidden Lebanese commandos who were also guarding the perimeter of the embassy. We were very close to being taken in, being arrested by Lebanese military. My cameraman was scared to death. We had uh, Kuwaiti security, Lebanese commandos, and uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was a sticky situation. Oh man, my heart's beating fast. It was surprising to ourselves that we could actually talk our, our way out of out of the the potential conflict with the Lebanese commandos. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you. But with a soothing attitude and being truthful of what we wanted to do, uh, we eventually we were just told to go on our way. <laughs> the very next day we set out for the, the literal war front where the bombing and the Israeli advance was happening. amazing to see how the landscape had literally changed um, overnight um, from devastation to much more devastation. Fewer and fewer people anywhere within sight. Hey, Sahafi. Hey. Hey. Hey, That's it right there. That's a ministry of government. Uh, 
that was hit right now. It's going off in smoke, you see? Bombs are going off right now. Uh, another one just went off. It's about the sixth, and it's right in the middle of the afternoon. A little sunny day. This building right here, the Ministry of Government building, and uh, a lot of guys moving around. As we walked up closer, five guys walked out from the building right next door, amazed at their good fortune, covered from head to toe in soot and dust, and in between cursing Israel. Thank God for still being alive. يعني هون لا في حزب ولا في شيء ولا بالمرة هون عبارة عن مدنيين لا أكثر ولا أقل حتى مدنيين ما في حتى لا كيف يعني استهداف هيك تدمير بس لا أكثر ولا أقل تروي حتى العدد من الضحايا بس هذا اللي We headed back into the southern suburbs um, of Beirut. I was trying to get a hold of Josh and Charlie, and they were not answering their phone. I knew that they were headed back into the southern suburb as well, and when they weren't answering their, their phone, I knew that uh, they'd been stopped, but I didn't know what the details were, and it was just a matter of, of waiting it out.